Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to set up for animating this character and we're also going to create a very simple idle animation. A really easy way of just setting up for animation right now is just going to this tab up here and click an animation and it sets up a lot of things for you. Like this window on the side that lets you preview your animation much better than in this view. This view is obviously for animating but there's also a couple other things that I need to show you. First off, change from dope sheet to action editor, much easier. Change the end frame here to the size of your animation, I'll go for 31. You can go for 61, you can go for 25, really doesn't matter. And then you can zoom in here just to have your whole animation uh, really tidy. And also very important right now is going to keying down here, active keying set and changing that to location on rotation. What that's gonna do, when you're making animations, you can press I to insert a keyframe and this is automatically going to insert the, the bones location and rotation. If I decide to turn that off and try pressing I to add a keyframe, it will ask me what to do and then I have to find it. It's just much easier this way, so location and rotation. I will go and save this as low poly human animation and save that as a blender file. Now each time you want to create a new animation, open up this file, create the animation. We're going to create a idle animation which is pretty simple, so what we're going to do is click new here and click idle or something like that and then save this as low poly human idle. Save as blender file. And now start creating your animation. What I'll do is I'll take the control bones right here for the arms and I'll just move into a nice uh, relaxed position. Something like this. I just realized now that his arms are a bit big but you know, doesn't matter. He's a monkey. Uh, you can select the whole thing for, uh, select the first frame and then select the whole uh, armature with A and press I. It's going to insert keyframe, keyframes here for each of the bones you selected. I want you to do the same thing on the 31st frame because if we have the same pose in the first and the last frame that means it's going to loop and you can basically just play the animation forever. Now I'll go to frame 15, that's kind of in the middle, 15, 16, that really doesn't matter. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, just move the arms a bit up. I'll select these bones move it up with G and then press I while only two bones are selected. If you press space now, you can see that it plays the animation. But I want some more flavor in this, so I'll just go to the chest right here and I'll rotate it around the X axis a bit backwards like that. Once you do that, press I and then I'll rotate the neck a bit forward too. Rotate, press I. Play the animation, you can see that now the chest moves, kind of he's breathing in and whatnot. And the last thing I want to do is also on the 15th frame, take this uh, hip bone or yeah, spine one, whatever, move it a bit down and you can see that the feet start pointing down. So also we have to flatten out the feet, just rotate them and once they're flat like that, press I and make sure you press I on this bone too. So insert the keyframe. If you play it now, this is a cool idle animation. You can save or export this, whatever you want. But that's it for today's video. Next time I'll teach you how to create a walking or maybe even a running cycle. Share this with your friends, go follow me on my social media, there's links to that in the description. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.